In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to identify if a line is parallel, perpendicular, or neither. So sometimes you might be given two equations. Let's say y is equal to 5x minus 2 and y is equal to 5x plus 4. How can you tell if these two equations are parallel, perpendicular, or neither? The key is the slope. The slope for both functions is equal to 5. If you recall, this equation is in slope in intercept form, and the slope is the number in front of x. Parallel lines have the same slope. For example, these two lines are parallel to each other. They have the same slope. And as a result, parallel lines will never intersect. Now, what about these two equations? How would you describe the relationship of the graphs of these two equations? So the slope for the first one is positive 2 over 3. For the second one, it's negative 3 over 2. Whenever the two slopes, if they're inverses of each other, well, I'll take that back. If they're the negative reciprocals of each other, then they're perpendicular. So for instance, let's say if the slope of line 1 is positive 4 over 3. The perpendicular line will have a slope of negative 3 over 4. You need to do two things. Flip the fraction, change the sign. Now let's say if the slope of the first line is negative 7 over 5. The slope of the perpendicular line is positive 5 over 7. Now, you need to know that a perpendicular line intersects another line at right angles. So this is going to form a 90 degree angle. If you were to graph it, that's how it's going to look like. So let's say if you have a horizontal line. A line perpendicular to a horizontal line is a vertical line, and it's going to form a 90 degree right angle. So those are some properties of perpendicular lines. Now what about this one? Let's say if y is equal to 2x minus 3 and also 3x plus 1. What's the relationship between these two lines? Are they parallel, perpendicular, or neither? So first, notice that the slope is not the same. So it's not going to be uh, parallel to each other. Now if we take the first slope, which is 2 or 2 over 1, and if we find a slope that's perpendicular to it, which is going to be negative 1 over 2, don't forget to change the sign and flip the fraction. Notice that this slope is not the same as 3. Therefore, these lines are not perpendicular, which means that it's neither. They're not parallel, and they're not perpendicular. So just to review, parallel lines have the same slope. Perpendicular lines have slopes that are negative reciprocals of each other. So the first slope is, let's say, 6 over 7. The other one is going to be negative 7 over 6. And if it's not one of these two, then it's neither. 